This is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. 60 miles of beautiful sunny beaches, attractions, and more than 2,000 restaurants. With amazing culinary options, the beach has become a true foodie destination. I'm Mason Zeglin, and I'm passionate about great food, southern hospitality, and healthy competition. And I'm here to set up a chef swap challenge. Each week, we're gonna take two chefs and swap them into each other's kitchens. Our chefs will have no idea where they're going or what they'll cook. They can grab one ingredient from their own kitchen, but they only get 60 minutes to cook up a masterpiece. Myrtle Beach culinary experts Dylan Foster and Johanna Wilson-Jones will help me determine who takes home the Chef Swap Knife. It's time for Chef Swap. <laughs> this is Chef Swap at the Beach. Today, we're at two restaurants right on the water to swap seasoned chef Casey with newcomer Chef Derek. I remember when I was a kid, I was going down the wrong path, and my dad was really the one that really gave me guidance, you know. He was that one to say, hey, we need to stop this right here. Get your, get your, no, get, get it together. He knew that I had something in me from the get-go. He was a very outstanding person. He was always about his grandkids and his family, always. Everything that he did, I can carry on to my family now. I wish when he was here to see his grandkids and how far they come. That's the part I miss about my dad the most, is um, wishing that he was here just to see the accomplishment I made so far. I've been here 30 years on my job and I did a lot of different competitions, awards I've had won. And I wish that he was here just to see those things and he wasn't. I really miss him, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's hard, I just, I just know he'd be very proud of me. If I talk to him right now, I just tell him I love him, you know? How much I really love him and miss him, yeah. The most special person in my life right now is probably my fiance. Her name's Celine. She's always there for me, good times, bad times, and uh, she makes delicious food also. And she's just a wonderful person. Her dad and her uncle were both chefs here. They kind of brought me in and taught me their ways and stuff like that, and that's how I got into this business. Her dad kind of took me under his wing and showed me the way around the kitchen, and that's where I learned most of my stuff from. What drives me is knowing that I have a baby on the way, do any day now. I just think about her every time I wake up in the morning, even though she's not here yet, and it just it pushes me to just do my best every single day. And I'm very excited to be a dad. We're gonna name our baby girl Amelia. I'll teach my daughter that she can be whatever she wants to be in this world as long as she's a good person and she treats everybody with respect. And I think that she'll be able to go a long way. And I'm going to also try and teach her how to cook. <laughs> I'm headed to Drunken Jack's to surprise Chef Casey and Filets to surprise Chef Derek with a chef swap. Hey, Chef Casey? Chef Casey. Chef Derek. Mason. How's it going? You know I'm here, right? I think so. You're yeah. ready for chef swap? Absolutely. In this envelope, I have where you're gonna cook, what you're gonna cook, and who you're gonna be swapping with. But before I give you this envelope, I'm gonna let you take one item out of your kitchen. What's that item gonna be? Just one item? Just one I'm item. sure with that? Yeah. I think I might bring my secret sauce. Secret sauce? Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take my blackening season. What's in it? I can't tell you. Can't tell me. No, I can't. Chef to chef, you won't tell me? Secret ingredients, buddy. All right. <laughs> Why don't you open this up? Looks like I'm going to Drunken Jack's Restaurant and Lounge, swapping with Casey Blake. Filets Waterfront, Derek Carrozzo, steak and eggs. I'm ready. You going to bring the flavor? Always. That's pretty different, because you know this is a seafood restaurant. We want to get you outside of your comfort zone. That's pretty cool. I think I can do it. There's just one more thing. This chef swap, it starts right now. Now? Right now. Right now? Right now. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, shoot. We've got two gorgeous waterfront restaurants today. But our chefs can't take too long to admire the view. They've got to find their kitchens. Hello? Hello? With 30 years experience, or even four, I think both of our chefs are looking a little lost. It's time to send in our sous chefs and get them settled. Love the view. Hello? Game time. Hey, welcome to Drunken Jack's. Hey, how are you? I'm Derek. Nice to meet you, Derek. I'm Vincent Davis. I'll be your sous chef guy today. OK. All right, come on Let's in. Have a look at the kitchen. What's going on, Chef Casey? How you doing? Good. I'll be your sous chef for today. You ready? All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right. Now we have a hot plate right here. We have our heat lamps. Cooler number one. We have some of your produce, your lettuce, and your tomatoes in here. This kitchen's a lot bigger than our kitchen. 
Have another cooler right here. Got your stove, your flat top, your grill, your deep fryer. Take you in the cooler, and you got your produce over here. We have an oven or grill if you need to grill something. The ladies at the front of the house, happy to see you. For me? Yeah, that's for you. That's all you, right. Chef Casey, right? I'm going to give them some love back, I guess. All right. All right. And here's your prep station right here. OK. Did you bring some knives? I didn't bring my knives with me uh, today. Oh, don't worry. We've got some knives for you. Appreciate you. All right, thank you. Cutting boards. Dry stock, cutting boards. I got you. Thank you. Good you. to go. Thank Anything you, you need to, after that, just let me know. I'm here right. for you. Thank you for the All tour, right. man. Appreciate it. Yep. All right. Chef KC, you feeling good? You feeling comfortable? Um, it's a different environment, you know. I'm ready for it, though. I see that you brought your spice with you. Secret ingredients. Let me get in here. Man, smelling a little spicy. That's what it's supposed to do. I'm guessing that's going to wake us up on this plate. It's going to make you feel good. Yeah? <laughs> Get for your sure. taste buds tingling. Yes, sir. <laughs> Derek, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I hear that you might need some knives. Yes, I'm definitely going to need those. <laughs> All right, man. I see you brought your secret sauce. Do you mind if I uh, take a look at it? Get you some. All right. Ah, oh, man, that smells super fresh. Almost like a little like romesco sauce, maybe yeah. minus the nuts out of there. Exactly. All right. I'm super excited for this cook. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling ready? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling ready for sure. All right. I'm ready to make you something delicious. I'm ready for you to make me something delicious, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, if you're feeling confident, 60 minutes on the clock, and let's go. Steak and eggs are on the menu today as both chefs start their cooks. I'm feeling all right. I'm glad to be cooking. So I was going to do uh, fried green tomatoes, but you guys don't have green tomatoes. Uh, so we're going to do red, red tomatoes. They'll work out just fine, though. OK. While Chef Derek deals with missing ingredients, Chef Casey is already finding a way to work his special ingredient into his dish. Could you uh, give me some flour? Flour, yes. yes. See, bowls. Where this work? I think I'm going to put this bacon inside right, the oven right now. Let that start cooking and give some time to rest. You got to be kidding me. Five minutes already? Five minutes already? Got this. This is garlic powder, salt, pepper, and paprika. All right, oven time. All right, timer. How long have you been working at Filets? For almost two years now. And this is one of your specialty dishes? Oh, I just, I love cooking some steak. Yeah, me too. I love it. I take mine medium rare. Medium rare? Yes. At Filets, some of our specialties are the par four, which is a filet with a shrimp skewer on top with a crab cake and three scallops with a Bernays sauce drizzled over top of that. A grouper piccata with risotto with a lemon butter garlic sauce. And then we also have the scallop gnocchi, which is gnocchi with scallops on top with also a garlic butter wine sauce. Filets is known for its seafood and its steak, but we also have very good sushi. Chef Derek, he's only 22. 22? 22. 22. Oh my gosh, that's young. Very young, very young. How long you been working at Drunken Jack? You really don't want to know, man, but I'm going to tell you 30 years, man. 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. Oh, you should have no problems with this, then. Some of the things I like to cook at Drunken Jack's are grilled ribeye and shrimp and grilled scallops with sauteed onions, peppers. It goes with the black peppercorn brandy cream sauce. There's a sampler, which is the people's favorite. That's the crab balls with Bernays sauce. And you have bacon wrapped scallops. And you have crab stuffed shrimp wrapped in bacon and blackened beef tips. And that's topped off with lemon butter sauce. Another one is our KC risotto. It's got named after me. The crab lobster risotto topped with black and mahi mahi and black and scallops and topped off with a lobster cream sauce. And then another one we have is the steak Neptunes, another people's favorite again. That consists of two four ounce medallions with grilled scallops and grilled shrimp, topped with lobster cream sauce. All right, man. How are you feeling about this, uh, this whole tomato situation? I'm hoping that they hold together and it doesn't fall apart. I might need to add a little bit more egg to it. I always do like a trial run. Like, don't hesitate to drop one early and make oh, yeah. sure that it's going to work out for you. Green tomatoes versus ripe tomatoes, they might not hold up like you're used to. Chef, you got your candied bacon in the oven, right? Yep, I got a time on this. So keep an eye on it for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you've got some real kind of classic southern ingredients here. That's my timer. Ooh, there you go. 
they're just uh, falling apart a little bit. I think I need to add more egg to my uh, batter here. Our chefs are out of their comfort zones, working with different ingredients than they're used to. Time to improvise. Perfect. I'm liking this one way better than the first round. It's holding together a lot better. Get it, get it. Where is the freaking bus fans at, man? Bus fans. To my, like, one of these, right? Yeah, one of those. Where? All right, thank you. Woo. Come on, come on, come on. Got my butter nice and melted. Chef Derek may look calm, but I know having to restart those tomatoes has him sweating. Meanwhile, Chef Casey is clearly feeling that time crunch. I'm getting a workout today. Walking back and forth in this huge kitchen. I don't know how you guys do it every day, walking back and forth in here. <laughs> we definitely don't have to go to the gym when we leave. This is going to be in going to the hash. Josh, you can go ahead and do me some six egg yolks. I'm loving the sear on this steak. Chef Casey's potato and vegetable hash looks amazing, but it's a labor-intensive side. I hope he's able to get to his steak and eggs soon. What have we got going on? How about your tomatoes? Um, At first, they wasn't looking all right, but now I think that they're coming out fine. Got a nice, crispy, golden brown. This is going to add a lot of texture to your dish, so I'm excited for that. I like what you're doing, man. You're really showing some real skill from such a young chef. You I know? appreciate that. I'm glad to see Chef Casey taking out those steaks. They need to come up to room temperature before he cooks them. All right, the black and seasoning. Loving the crust on that. Throw my second ribeye on. Looks like both chefs are doing fried tomatoes now. Definitely feeling that workout now. With such similar dishes, this is really going to be a direct head-to-head -head competition. They're both going to have to execute perfectly to pull ahead. Even with the clock ticking, I'm glad to see Chef Derek taking his time seasoning those eggs carefully. Beautiful. With only 30 minutes left in this David versus Goliath competition, I'm sending in Dylan and Johanna to check on our chef's steak and eggs. Chef Casey! What's up? What's up, man? Hey, you seeing me? You got 30 minutes left. Half time, that's what it is, brother. What are you cooking? What'd you bring with us today? Uh, I got some sweet potato. I'm gonna do a sweet potato hash with some candy bacon and some onions. Put this all together right now. Bam. Look at that. I'm, so I'm witnessing the masterpiece. What can I taste, man? I'm getting hungry. Give me like 10 more minutes, you can taste something. 10 more minutes? I'm yeah. looking at this bacon, man. I'm going to steal some, actually. Steal it, steal it, steal it. Man, that is good. What's going on? You're going against a titan in this community. He has been in the business longer than you've been alive. So you got to take your youth, your energy, and punch it back to him. So what are we working on here? What do you got for me to taste? This is my secret ingredient right here. This is a Cajun roasted pepper puree. And this is your special sauce. It's my special sauce. A lot of heat. Oh, yeah. I would like a little bit of sweetness to that. But hey, I'm not the chef. You are. I'm feeling very nervous now that she's came in here and fired me up a little bit. Put some, some uh, aluminum foil on it, throw it in the oven. Do you guys have any, like, Arcadia mix? Uh, baby greens. That'll work. That'll work. Yes, sir. Oh, where's your food process at? Blender. Blender, yeah. All right, Derek. From what I've seen out of your dish, it just smells, like, really fresh. Are you going to add any garnishing elements to emphasize that brightness? I have Vincent actually grabbing me some right now. Oh, fantastic. I love where your brain is going on this. Really just keep focusing on that plating. Even instead of just going all over the top of the egg, you could just go on the white, you know? I got you. Yeah. I'm putting a spread of a bacon jam on top of the uh, Cajun fried green tomatoes. Slice up this green onion for my garnishes. All right, chef, I see you're pulling some things together here. I'm trying to make this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. You get the world's smallest blender here. Oh, but he got the world. Got locked over right in there, I believe. Now I got to pour I can't do it like this. They don't have a big, bigger one. What about a mixing bowl over the burner? Yep. Um, I'm going to put green tomatoes or red tomatoes on top. 
So a couple pieces of steak on there. Chef Casey has found a way to use his blackening seasoning in every layer of this dish so far. I'm gonna go ahead with one egg, put a little paprika around the edge. Without the type of blender he was hoping for, Chef Casey is having to pivot and make his hollandaise sauce by hand. And that takes a lot of skill. Oh, let's break it right now. Josh, I need more egg yolks, but no whites, buddy. The tomato is going to knock some of the spice off the sauce. All right, Josh, you ready? You need to pour that butter slow. I'll eat it right here. Go slow, very slow, very slow. I'm really impressed with Chef Derek's work so far, but he needs to make sure everything looks perfect. Go, go down, go down, go down. Chef Derek has time for extra garnishes. Uh, one more thing. But one. Chef Casey still needs to get all of his main elements on that plate. Bacon bits, heat a little bit of those up. Some bacon on there. Done. All right, Vincent, thank you so much, man. <laughs> we did it. Chef Casey's taking it right down to the wire. Done. Yeah, man, you did good, man. man. You did an excellent job, man. I can have you anytime. Have my back, buddy. Time to taste. We've got steak and eggs right. from Chef Derek. I'm very excited to have some red meat today. I wear my special red meat jacket. <laughs> so I'm excited to taste. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. I mean, that egg is really nicely cooked, just the way it runs when you cut into it. Yep, the seasoning on the steak, the, the cook on the steak is really nice. And to top it all off with this little tangy, spicy sauce, it's great. Right. I it's a wonderful back heat that I'm getting that I love, I love spicy. It's like explosions of flavor. I appreciate how crispy the crust is. Mm -hmm. On that fried red tomato, it still has a lot of crunch to it, which is nice. The presentation is great because I looked down and I saw like a color palette. It's like this: the fork is my paintbrush, and I dipped in. I got some red. I dipped in and got some yellow. I dipped in and got some green. So it's just beautiful. It's like wonderful art on a plate. It's like a piece of art, food art. What do we think of Chef Casey's food? It is amazing how similar both dishes are. Did they talk to one another? They couldn't have. Unbelievable. Let's break into this egg. Right. Everything that you pick up tastes different. I mean, there's flavor in every layer. You're 100% right. That bacon mm. jam on that on that fried green tomato. Yeah. This speaks to the depth of talent that comes with experience and with vision and with time and talent. You can tell he cooks with passion and that he put a lot of love and care into this dish. And I know that he used this his blackening spice throughout the dish in lots of the different layers. Mm -hmm. However, the, the candy bacon, the bacon jam, I feel like it's kind of covering the spice a little. I agree. The black and spice should be more at the forefront. It's like playing shy girl. I want to be the flirty girl. The girl that everybody <laughs> sees want to dance with in the club, right? Chef Derek, how do you feel? I'm glad this is over. All the nerves are starting to calm, and I'm ready to head home. Yeah. It's been a long day. <laughs> Some of the flavors that you had in this dish have this southern influence. My comfort spot, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you must be a pretty cool guy because, like, <laughs> you didn't look nervous at all today. In the inside, I was. Maybe not outside, but on the inside, for sure. What you did today really just speaks volumes of what you've been able to learn so far. We're really excited to see where you go in your career, and we're really excited to see you at this knife ceremony. All right, thank you. How you feeling? Good, man. What's going on? It's kind of, it was kind of challenging a little bit, you know, working in another kitchen. You know? How do you feel about it? How do you think it came together for you? Could have done a little better, probably. And then, you know, you had a little bit of heat and a little sweet together to go to complement the dish. So I think everything went well. I feel like we really tasted where you're coming from and just your experience on the plate. We were really excited to eat your food. Okay. We're even more excited to see you at the knife ceremony. Absolutely. So I got a question for you. Yeah. How was it? I mean, I can't really tell you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all right, I respect it. Skyrocketing young talent or confident veteran chef, only one can take home the chef swap knife. Both of your restaurants are right on the water. We knew that you'd be able to crush a seafood challenge. So for this challenge, we wanted to toss you steak and eggs. Chef Derek, I know we threw you out of your comfort zone, and you brought some experience that was well beyond your years. Your steak was cooked perfectly. The roasted red pepper chipotle sauce was phenomenal. You did a great job, especially pivoting without that green tomato. You should be very proud of yourself. You Thank did you. a great job. Thank you. Chef Casey, 
I had high expectations because you've been on this beach for a very long time. The pressure was on, and Chef Derek put the pressure on you. I was impressed, and your skills came through. I mean, you had to bring it through, and your skills did come through. So great job, Chef. You know, you're a little frazzled. I was. You, you came out hitting hard. I was. You know, I, I was able to get, get it done, so thank you again. Both of these dishes were spectacular, and it was a very hard decision for us to come up with a winner. Chef Casey, Chef Derek, the chef swap knife goes to Chef Casey. Oh! Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Both chefs put together really strong dishes, but Chef Casey was able to incorporate his secret ingredient into all layers of his dish. The wisdom of experience went out today, but well, we can't wait to see what Chef Derek does next. I'm Mason Zeglin. Join me next time as we put two more amazing Myrtle Beach chefs to the test on Chef Swap at the Beach. For more on the chefs and restaurants featured on today's episode, visit ChefSwap.com.